All right, so phase five. Um, you made it this far. Awesome. I'm proud of you guys. Uh, first of all, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay in the loop of all my videos that are going to be coming, all the content that's going to be coming out. Um, phase five of the apprenticeship program is much more laid back. I enjoyed it. I loved it. It was fun. I had a great time. Uh, so unlike phase one and phase three, phase one, phase three, you're still staying in the barracks or the apprenticeship side of the hotel. You're still staying in the group. You still have to march to class. You still have to wear uniforms. Phase five, you're free and clear. Um, they start treating you a little bit differently. Um, regardless, through the whole phase, you get treated sweet and awesome. But phase five, you're now on your own. You wear civilian clothes, you wear whatever you want. You don't have to march in a group. You walk to class whenever you want. It becomes more of a college-ish type campus situation. Um, again, unlike phase one and phase three, where you're not allowed to leave the campus for any reason. You're not allowed to drink in the bar. Um, regardless of age, phase one, phase three, you cannot drink in the bar. But it's not a big deal. Phase five is when they call it upgrading. So phase five, you're going back. Remember phase three, you chose which department you wanna go in. Phase four, you sailed 120 days in that specific department. Now phase five, they call it upgrading because you're now becoming either for deck, you're going from OS to an AB. For engine, you're going from wiper to oiler. And for steward, you're going from SA to a cook. So you're upgrading your endorsements. So you get called an upgrader. But phase five, like I said, you can wear whatever clothes you want. You can leave the campus whenever you want. Obviously, the only rule is show up to class. You gotta show up to class. You can't be late for class. No exceptions. I think you're only literally allowed to miss maybe one day of class and you have to have a solid reason but any more than that there's you gotta have so many hours of class to get your endorsements so there has to be a solid reason for you to even miss one day I don't suggest it but come and go when you please you're now allowed to go drink in the hotel bar um, you're staying on the other side of the hotel you get your own hotel room all to yourself <coughs> you can bring your own vehicle I drove myself and my lady Charmaine um, with driving and airport or airplane blah 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 first and third phase the cost is all on you now fifth phase they will reimburse you for your flight and or your drive not and or it's just or your drive your flight or your drive but to keep this in mind <coughs> excuse me they're not going to reimburse you per gallon or per mile that you're driving um i was under the impersonation of that which it was just vague when i had talked to them about it i don't think she fully who i talked to fully understood but I called them and said, hey, I'm driving from Washington State to Maryland. And maybe she thought I really meant Washington, D.C., but I meant Washington State. Uh, me and my lady did the road trip all the way across. I knew it was going to cost more than flying, obviously, but it was more for the road trip experience that I wanted to share with Charmaine. And I was told that I would be reimbursed. I already knew I wasn't going to be in reverse. I wasn't going to be reimbursed for the full amount, but when it come to getting reimbursed, it was, I only got a reimbursement for one person round trip airline ticket from the city that I'm coming from. So that'll be the same story for you guys. Say you're coming from Washington, D.C. down to Piney Point, which is like a 30 45 minute drive 
if you drive in a zigzag and it takes you five hours to get there, they're not going to reimburse you for that amount. They're going to reimburse you for DC to Piney Point. And you'd be ridiculous to even ask for a reimbursement for a 30 minute drive. Let's say you're coming from, I don't know, say New York to Piney Point and you zigzag back and forth trying to make a bunch of stops down on the way, they're only gonna reimburse you for a round trip ticket from New York to Piney Point. So if you can drive from New York to Piney Point and it costs you less than an airline ticket, then you might come out with some better odds because that's all I got reimbursed for. They reimbursed me for the ticket of one person from Seattle to Washington, D.C. It came out to like 280 or something, 276. Which, I'll tell you right now, driving my Silverado at 18 miles per gallon on the highway, it cost me averagely 500 bucks one way. So, that's how much it costs if you're coming from the other side of the U.S. in a full-size truck. Excuse me. Um, what else can I tell you? Like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, you're really given free reign to do whatever you want. Um, they treat, I would say they treat you more of, more as an adult now. Because you can come and go whenever you want. Where first phase, they're treating you as an apprentice. You know, you you lose certain privileges like going to class like I said going to class you got to walk and march in a group um, coming down to eat in first phase you got to come down as a group third phase same deal the only time that you don't have to march in groups is on the weekends and sometimes they even tell you to do that but fifth phase you're all on your own you're walking to class on your own, you're studying on your own. First and third phase, there's a whole lot of studying with basically your whole class because you're all trying to get through it with each other. When you get to fifth phase, you're in your own hotel room with your own bed by yourself and you're studying on your own unless you get together with the guys or the gals in your class and make that arrangement. You're studying by yourself, you're eating by yourself, you're your own person now in fifth phase. Um, another thing, you can have, as a first and third phaser, you're only allowed visitors on the first or last Sunday of the month. Fifth phase, you're allowed visitors whenever you want. Um, the only contingency, I think that'd be the word, contingency is they cannot stay with you for the full duration of your class. Um, unless they are straight line relative or your spouse and you have to provide proof that they are relatives and or spouse. Um, I brought Charmaine and for the majority of the time during my class, we actually stayed in a campground about four miles away. Um, it was pretty sweet. You know, I, I can't, I can't remember the name of the campground. But it was a campground, like I said, it's like four miles away. If you've already been going through the program, you're gonna go out of Piney Point, you know, like you're taking, I mean, you can look it up, closest campground. There's actually like two, but one of them's like a resort campground. This one's a marina RV park campground with full utilities, full bathroom, its own bar. But to get to it, you're gonna go out of Piney Point like you're going towards the, the fire school, you're gonna pass the fire school, and then the next main turn, there's like a fire station or church, and you go down that road for about two miles, and then you turn right, and then follow that road down to campground. Way out of point of the video, but just so you guys know, if you wanna stay at a campground, be outdoors while taking your class. Pretty cool. Um, fifth phase what else so that it's, it's real sweet guys now that you're you can do whatever you want you can wear your own clothes you don't 
wear your civilian clothes. The only thing is you just gotta show up to class. That's pretty much it. You can drive your own car on and off the campus whenever you want. That's all I got. Um, I'm happy for you guys if you've made it this far. Congratulations. Uh, I don't know if I'm leaving anything out. If I am, go ahead, ask me questions down in the comments or whatever. I'll try to get back to them. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys subscribe and keep watching the content that will be coming out. Alright, I'm out.